Welcome to the We On podcast. We dive into some uh, really intriguing stories here. Definitely. And today, well, we've got one that's literally out of this world. Picture this. A spacecraft launched way back in 77. Voyager 1. Right. No. And it's now just incredibly far, about 25 billion kilometers away. Yes, yeah, speeding along at what? 56,000 kilometers an hour, just staggering numbers. And its whole job, basically, is keeping its antenna pointed precisely back here at Earth, sending data. Uh-huh, vital data from interstellar space. Okay. But here's the twist. To do that pointing, it uses thrusters. Okay. And the main ones, the primary set designed for that fine-tuning, they actually uh, stopped working. Stopped working? When? It is 21 years ago. 21 years. Wow, so what's it been doing all this time? Well, engineers got creative. They had to rely on a backup set. Thrusters meant for a different job entirely, sort of uh, roll control. So, like, not designed for that super precise pointing needed for the antenna. That sounds risky. He was definitely walking a tightrope. I mean, these backups were doing the job, but if they failed... Then, silence. No more data from the edge of the solar system. Exactly. And at that distance, you know, repair isn't an option. It's just too far. Right. Totally science fiction territory. It feels like an impossible problem, but something changed. Something amazing. NASA engineers, against well, pretty much all odds, managed to bring those original primary thrusters back online. After 21 years of being dormant, how? It turned out to be uh, something surprisingly small, electrically speaking, a well, switch. A switch. Yeah, in the heater power supply for those thrusters. Mm. It was just misaligned, stuck in the wrong position so the heaters couldn't warm up the thrusters to let them fire. That's incredible. A, a tiny glitch causing such a long-term problem and fixing it must have been urgent. Extremely urgent. There's this crucial communication antenna in Australia, Deke Space Station 43. Ah, the only one strong enough to send commands that far. Precisely. And those about to go offline for a long time for upgrades, they had to get those thrusters working before that window closed. Talk about pressure and then the wait. Signals take so long to travel that far. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Over 23 hours. One away. So nearly two days round trip just to see if the command even worked. Exactly. Imagine sending those commands out into the void. Yeah. And then just waiting mm -hmm. for almost a day. The tension must have been on rail. Absolutely. But then the data started trickling back. Temperature readings from the thruster heaters, they began to climb. Ah, uh, so it worked. It worked. Within about 20 minutes of getting the signal back, they knew. Yeah. After 21 years, the primary thrusters were warm and uh, ready to go. That is just fantastic news, a real testament to the engineers. So Voyager 1 is back to using its main system for pointing. Yep, it gives the mission much more resilience, you know, redundancy. It means Voyager can hopefully keep sending back that invaluable data for years to come, a real comeback story. An absolutely incredible story, human ingenuity reaching across billions of kilometers. Well, that's all the time we have for this deep dive. A great one. Stay tuned to the We On podcast because we'll have more intriguing stories like this coming your way soon.